Hey Dave, hey. Um, with Julio, uh, you know, first time seeing him at least in a mound uh, this year. What, what was what do you think of him? And then, and then, secondly, what does he have to do to kind of just tap into what he found in the postseason? What was kind of the key for him? Uh, well, I, I thought tonight he was fine. Um, velocity was good. He was just a little bit of arm side miss. Um, maybe got squeezed a little bit. Uh, Could have used uh, the breaking ball a little bit more, but first outing felt good with the fastball. Um, I thought it was good. I mean, ideally, we would have liked to get him back out there for a second inning, but, you know, after throwing 20-something pitches, I felt that was good enough for him. Next question is from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, I know, I know he gave up that home run, but what, what do you think of Landon Knack? Landon, uh, really good. You know, he got two quick strikeouts. I, I love the way he attacks hitters, and I like his breaking ball. Um, yeah, I think he babied that fastball to the catcher and, uh, you know, got behind the count. But outside of that, I just love the way he attacks, and there's a lot of swing and miss in there. So it's good to see him, uh, you know, get his feet wet tonight. Uh, I know you talked about him earlier in the game, before the game, but what about Bobby Miller? Yeah, Bobby, I, I thought the same thing as far as landing, getting in on, in a big league game. I know uh, adrenaline was going and uh, really good fastball. Uh, breaking ball got a nice double play. So really good. Um, I'm excited to watch him continue to develop. Thanks, Dave. Next question is from Brooks Smith. Go ahead. Hey, Dave, uh, Dennis looked pretty sharp out there. First time we get to see him out there in a while. What kind of uh, role do you envision him in in 2021? I think for us, you know, right now it, it's multiple innings, uh, two, three innings, just to continue to develop that change up versus left. Uh, the glove side two seam are really good. You know, in his pens, in the lives, in the game, he's 95, 94, 96. And uh, the command has gotten a lot better uh, over the last couple of years. So um, I, I just see him as a guy that gets both out and um, pitching viable innings. And then I'm going to ask you again about Gavin Lux. Uh, hit the ball pretty hard today. You like what you're seeing out of him? Really, I really am. Um, Gavin had a great winner and uh, is having a great camp. Uh, really, he just he's in a really good place. And, you know, each at bat, he's taking good at bats and taking good swings. And even the bat tonight where he struck out against the lefty, he got three good swings off. So um, really like where he's at. Um, next time we see him, he'll be at second base. But still nice to see him over there on the other side of the diamond, too. Thanks, Dave. Next question is from Mark Castillo. Go ahead. Dave, you mentioned um, him facing a lefty. Um, does he have to prove something to you guys um, against lefties, or is, do you see him in – playing every day regardless of lefty righty yeah you know i, I mean I, I i see him getting a good runway playing regularly uh what that means i think that there that's a uh, room for kind of uh conversations but uh yeah him against a lefty i don't think we're too concerned about that he's always handled them and uh, perform well so um yeah it's really not a hand in this thing with gavin does he look different at the plate um in terms of like you know mechanics stance yeah, you know, he, he just looks more comfortable. I, I think that last year, again, the start and stop kind of got him a little bit. But right now, there's just been so much consistency in his work. Uh, he and the hitting guys are just all synced up. Uh, there's clarity in his mind. Uh, he's just more free and easy this year, um, whatever that means. Um, but I do think mechanically, he's very sound. So I, I'm just wondering, he's being there the last couple of nights for the game. Seems like the fans... Um, you can kind of hear everything. Do you guys hear the fans kind of bantering, going back and forth, maybe with some players? Yeah, we do. It's kind of uh, you're used to. You're not used to seeing that uh, the sparse uh, amount of fans in the beginning of the game. Usually, that's towards the end. Uh, you hear the cackling, the chirping. But uh, you know what? What any fans we can take right now, we'll we'll take. Thank you. Next question is from Claudia Gastro. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. Um, obviously, Urias worked well with Barnes on that big game in the World Series. Do you feel he works well with Barnes or, or Smith? Does it make a difference? You know what? I, I think that, um, I mean, that's probably a better question for Julio, but I just think that uh, both catchers do a great job with our pitchers. And, yeah, in, in that series, uh, there was a good rapport, but I've seen him throw really well to Will Smith also. Um, right now, it was one inning. Uh, where I still thought Julio was pretty good. Just some close misses tonight. Thank you. We've got time for one more. Go ahead, Eric. 
Dave, did, did Julio end up throwing in the bullpen after, or was it just the one inning for him tonight? Uh, I think, Eric, it was just the one inning, and um, he'll throw a pen in a couple of days. And then hopefully, you know, we'll get two innings out of him next time. Is there a point, given that, you know, pitchers are going to hit this year, at least for your starters, are they going to have to start hitting in games, or do they have to go a little bit deeper into the games to get to that point? Yeah, um, I, I think that uh, – you know, that third, fourth week, uh, typically pitchers will get in there and sack bunt, take some at-bats, and they've been working daily on uh, the bunting. Um, we haven't got them in the cage yet, but uh, that should probably be happening soon as far as kind of getting them swinging the bat, and then hopefully uh, we'll get them in a the game in the next couple of weeks. Thank you.